and gratitude for what he did. It just makes me tear up. Today I'm watching Hacksaw Ridge for the very first time. This is a movie I've been looking forward to watching for a long time, so I'm excited to get into it. But before we do, please like the video, comment, subscribe, all the things. Thank you to the people that watch the video. Thank you to my Patreon members. I couldn't do this without you, so thank you so much. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so what I know about the movie, Andrew Garfield playing someone who I believe is a real person. I think this person was a conscientious objector in one of the wars. I don't know which war. If I had to guess World War II, because a lot of war movies are about World War II. The first images are obviously showing the horrors of war. Probably very intentional to do this, being a story about an, about a conscientious objector. You definitely don't want to glamorize war because it's horrible. The Lord is the everlasting God. He will not grow tired or weary. It's interesting to hear Andrew Garfield, a British person, speaking in a southern accent. <laughs> We're starting with the main guy in a lot of trouble. From Virginia, so I can't really judge whether his accent's good enough. I'm from Arkansas, which is also very southern, but it's a different accent. Similar, but not the same. What how? Where should be talking? Hey, cheater! That kid just didn't understand. If you decide we're racing, you get to have the head start. Those are the rules. Want a hand? I got it. <laughs> Want a hand? No. Bop. It's them dolls, kids. Crazy as their old man. Who's their old man? And why is he crazy? Putting in the sidewalk. Is it our Lord Elrond? Kind of just seems like he's sad. Like I died with you. Oh. He was in one of the wars. Wait, they were just having fun. What the hell are you doing? You can't hear me! They were literally just rock climbing together and now they're killing each other? You hurt your brother, the only option you have left is religion. Oh my gosh. Such a rough environment to grow up in. He hates himself. Sometimes. Your daddy denied that ain't the real him. I mean, I think all those things are true, but it's not a reason to stay. But it's neither my place to judge, so. What's going on out there, Desmond? Oh, oh my gosh. I don't tell Joshua, pick up. Quick. Is he like a nurse or something? Or he just knows what a tourniquet is? You staying with us? You're gonna be okay. He's turned to a life of saving lives instead of ending them with bricks. If he's not a nurse now, he'll want to be soon. Is he in love? Are you all right? Thank you for asking though, ma'am. <laughs> why, why are you still standing here? My belt. I lent it to the boy who had the, had the accident. Well, uh, I don't have your belt. No, I know that ma'am is out there. I'm just here to take blood. I'll give you mine. <laughs> <laughs> he has no self-awareness. Well, my friends call me Desmond. No, man, my first time. Have you heard of hummingbirds? Where do you live? It's five or six miles. But I cut through the woods. Seven that way. <laughs> Aside from his intensity, there's some charm there. Nurse over at the hospital, her name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm gonna marry her. Well, in that case, come give your brother a big hug. Hell. <laughs> I'll hit you with another brick. Does she know he's coming? You ever given blood before? Yes, ma'am, I have. Yesterday. You're not supposed to be in so You're soon. Desmond, we can't take your blood two days in a row. That's good. I came to get mine back. You what? <laughs> My blood needs back. <laughs> well, it don't work like that. We can't That's just funny. give it back to you. Well, you got to. Because I want it. That needle. My heart's been beating real fast. Every time I think about you, it beats faster still. 
<gasps> He's brazen. I never heard that one before. It's pretty corny. Well, it's a shame. I, I don't practice that all night. Only one mirror in the house. I practiced all night. Oh no, is that what we're supposed to do? This is a first date. That's like a second date thing. I think you need to practice your boy-girl date and talk at home before you come out. I'll give you a book if you're that interested. How to date for dummies? On dating? <laughs> On blood. <laughs> you could stare a little less, man. Okay, now watch the movie. We're all here to watch this movie, so please watch it. You need to watch where you're going. Whoa, whoa, that's a second date thing. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't think you'd mind. You didn't ask. I yeah. thought you might have liked it. Well, I might have if you'd asked. Yeah, you should have asked. You coming? <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll be going. Dad probably has some strong feelings about that. There's a war, and they need men. Gosh, he's gotta be seeing the people he saw die, but now it's his son. Reminds me of how Artie Giddens looked in his uniform when we went to France. Remember him, Bertha? Don't talk. What? I'm just saying how snappy Artie looked in his uniform. His acting. Wow. I just hope that when our Hal gets shot, it's through the front of his jacket. Like a simple entry wound. Not much mess. Already got hit in the back. It blew most of his guts and intestines out his front. Awful everywhere. Wrecked his uniform entirely. <laughs> get out of my sight. Man. That was a hard scene to watch. You just know that that's what he's gonna see. And I think people need to realize it before joining. That it's a very real possibility. There's no glamour to it. Oh, hold on now. You ain't gonna slap me, are you? <laughs> Kiss me and find out. Maybe I've learned to like the slap. What? I have to enlist. I can't stay here while all them go fight for me. I was literally about to say, we haven't seen any felt pressure by him to enlist, even though from what I know about that time period, anyone around that age was feeling a lot of pressure to do so. So are you gonna ask me to marry you or what? I'll do it right now. I wouldn't know you haven't asked. Well, I'm asking you with all my heart and then some. A little bit of my lungs, some of my kidney, not with the spleen though. That's just bad luck. He's gonna show up with his uniform. Oh, not yet. I don't wanna have to visit my sons here. Daddy, I, I signed up already. You know, whatever beliefs you have and your crazy head now, they won't ever play out. It don't work that way. Yeah, I don't think anyone who hasn't been in a war scenario can even fathom it. There's like war video games, war movies, and none of it as far as I know, because I've never been in one, so I, I don't know. But I think that you can't imagine it based on what we have to represent it. Next to the kiss symbol, she should have put a slap symbol as well. Gaze upon it in envy, my friend. Wise choice. It's got views of the mountains, down to the lake. And that guy's butt. Hey, being Paul. What'd you say your name was? Is that guy gonna be the bully? This handsome guy right here is uh, Lucky Ford. That's Walker and Pinnock over there pretending. That guy over there is Caveman. That's Armpit, Zigzag, and Zero. That's Vince Vaughn? Vince, Vince is here? The name is Ghoul, you say? Walker, Sergeant! Ghoul it is! Yes, Sergeant! Your name is gonna be Little John. I have seen stocks of corn with better physiques. Can you carry your weight? Yes, Sergeant. It'd be easy for you then. <laughs> we'll call you Flat Stanley. Everyone outside, now! Move it! Oh, no, no, I said no. move it! All right, just get in my uniform, Sergeant. Should I ask you to, Corporal? Leave any man who takes such pride. Now move your privates, private parts. <laughs> Is his name Private Parts? That's that's better than anything I could have ever come up with. I came up with Lil John, but Private Parts is better. 
ends around the tree, goes back into the hole. All right, let's go. You can't do it with the rope. You must do it with something else. What do we got here, Doss? One for each titty. <laughs> what is so funny, Corporal? Couldn't tell you, Sergeant. You think playing army is fun? No, no fun, sir. Fun, sir. Fun, sir. It's fun. Yes. You sure? I think. Nice, nice work, dog. Beanpole made it. I don't like Beanpole. I'm gonna call him Flat Stanley. This is to be your lover. Grab a girl. Oh man, he is gonna be in trouble. That's some internal strength, though. Crazy. Private corn stock. I can't touch a gun. Oh, we didn't see what happened from that. No problem, just a mistake. It's, uh... Jake Sully? You're a conscientious objector, and you joined the army. Well, no, sir. I'm, I'm a conscientious cooperator. <laughs> <laughs> He's clever. I want you to meet Private Desmond Doss. <laughs> They're gonna try and shame him. Shame, 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 shame. Does not believe in violence. So badly. That this sucks. Is a conscientious objector. Cooperator. So I will expect everyone in this company to give Private Doss the full measure of respect he is due. What you got here, does he? Oh, they're just gonna listen to the guy because he yells. I guess. It's half the bubble for half the man. He is the bully. Whoa. Luckily, there's no bricks around. I think this is cowardice. Plain and simple. You gotta say you can do this all day. Hit me, Dawes. Go on. No? He's still standing there. Give me that back. Please. Please. Man. Obviously, I don't know if the conversations go exactly like that, but I have so much respect for this character right now. He... Was it was it God who told you not to pick up a rifle? God says not to kill. He just doesn't want to kill people. people take that <laughs> to me. This is Satan himself we're fighting. I can't see that, sir, and that is why I joined up. He wants to be a medic. <laughs> it's not hard to understand. How am I supposed to maintain discipline with a man like that in my unit? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Figured this is where he'd end up. Right now, everybody in full deal for a 20 mile hike. Ooh, everyone's gonna hate him. This is such a, ah, uh, I hate watching this, but it's good. Get off me, get off me. He's obviously stronger than the rest of them. Where's Doss? He's still gonna be standing right there. It's not about what you joined up for. It's about the lives of every man in here. It's about him doing what you tell him to do. It's okay, Doss. There's no shame in this. Isn't that what you're trying to do this whole time, though? Okay. All right, Doss. Can you identify the men that beat you? I never said I was attacked, huh? You bruised half your body sleeping. I, I sleep pretty hard. <laughs> He's got the zingers. <laughs> and you have not qualified on the rifle range. Show me you know how to handle a rifle. And I'll sign here for them. Yeah, I mean, I don't see the problem with training in the rifle and then just not using one later on. I'm not asking you, Private! Okay, yelling again. That is a direct order from a company commander! You can just keep yelling, sir. For God's sake, Doss, you stop this nonsense and quit. Quiet, Jake. I can, sir. He's not standing you up. He's just... Having a real tough time in the military. <laughs> Sometimes men just get cold feet. Whoa. That's an assumption. Not my Desmond. He literally never stops staring at me. But the brave men out there go and win this war. Uh, looks like he doesn't understand bravery. Why well, can't you just pick up the stupid gun and wave it around? You don't have to use it, just meet them halfway. I feel like you can do that. I do think he's very strong for holding such a strong boundary against very aggressive and violent people. No, I'm not crying, okay? I'm allergic to jerks! I fell in love with you because you weren't like anyone else. You just stared at me for hours? We want him to plead guilty. Otherwise, he fights him and he for sure goes to prison. I wonder what the dad thinks. Dad is such a complicated character who definitely doesn't want 
his sons to go to war. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how much of this stuff is real, actually happened, or fictionalized. What's gonna happen? Did his dad save him? <laughs> the higher up you get, the less effort you have to put into a salute. Ah. Private Toss wishes to enter a not guilty plea. There were two men in my hometown, declared 4F unfit, they killed themselves because they couldn't serve. Well, I had a job in a defense plant, could have taken a deferment, but that ain't right. Slow zoom on this great speech. And you know there are laws here. Sir, I know the law and I know my son is protected by those laws. They're framed in our constitution. And I believe in them as he does. Gosh, I don't want to talk because all of these people are saying great stuff. The defendant's rights as a conscientious objector are protected by an act of Congress. Signed Brigadier General Musgrove, War Services Commander, Washington, D.C. Colonel? <laughs> that was an order. You may resume your duties and begin training as a combat medic. <laughs> was that so hard, guys? If we just yelled a little less, we would have skipped all of this. And the thing is, I don't think the other people are wrong for fighting in the war. It's a very sadly necessary thing at times, but he can be the way he is and decide what he decided and be just as heroic as anyone else. Oh wow. Blank stare. <sighs> they're animals. Stinking animals. Nips don't care if they live or die. That's not true, though. Take a breather. A pals in the Navy are gonna soften them up for us. It also lets them know that something's coming. Nobody can survive that shit. Oh, but they can. That guy's got a real creepy energy about him. It's the horrors of war. I get that. These bunkers here, here and here, is that accurate? Are they climbing those ropes? Is that how they're getting up there? Why well, haven't the ropes been cut down? I don't know, maybe it's easier to pick them off one by one if they're all going up a single rope bridge ladder. We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Keep climbing. This is scary. I've seen some war movies, but really not a whole lot. And this is just the most gruesome I've seen. Oh my gosh, this is just insane. I mean, just everyone is going down. Oh, that was, that was Dez. I didn't even realize it. Oh my gosh. Gotta apply another tourniquet. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh, this is... Priority! Give her to triage! He'll be dead before we get him down! You don't know that! Get him down! Alright? Keep that tight. You're gonna be right as right. You doing okay? Okay. <sighs> Good thing he's uh, got a cross-country build. I like Gimli. I'm not made for cross country. Very dangerous at a short distance. I definitely feel like they're not glamorizing war with this scene. There's nothing about this looks glamorous at all. All of these guys are super brave, but I can't imagine anyone watching this and being like, yes, this is where I would like to be. Let's turn on the light. 
Sorry, it got a little dark there. I was so engrossed in the movie, I wasn't looking at the, the monitor. They're right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Getting up so close to those guys. And this is just sad because literally moments ago the guy was like, you have to get me home, I have kids. And half the guys on this side that they're killing now probably have kids too. Also known as... <laughs> Ghoul! Ghoul! Ghoul, you're okay! Come on, Ghoul. Good job, man! Good work! Did they take the ridge? We mop up the rest of the ridge tomorrow. Okay, they have part of the ridge. Where the hell are you going, Dom? Still more wounded out there, Sarge. I'll go with him. Do the people around him respect him now? You ain't gonna eat them? I don't eat meat. Of course you don't. True to his boundaries to the last second. You know you're fighting out of your weight class with her, don't you? She'd be much happier with a man like me anyway. Yeah, until she got to know you. <laughs> Aw, we're friends now. I'll take first watch. How'd you get some shut eye? How would you ever sleep? Like at all, ever, in a war? I mean, maybe you just eventually do? You get used to it? You can tune stuff out? I don't know. After what we've just been through, any sane man would be screaming for a weapon. I've never claimed to be sane. Yeah, you did. You had a psyche valve where you specifically claim to be sane. My daddy used to beat me and my brother just because the sun rose and then whip us just because it said. I could take that. But when he would do it to our mama. Get away! But you didn't kill him. In my heart, I did. So that's why I made my promise to God I ain't never gonna touch a gun again. Well, I ain't giving you mine because you're crazy. Too much emotion in this movie. <sighs> oh man, they have so many men. Oh my gosh. If you're gonna take that ridge, you're gonna need four or five times as many people and not one rope ladder to get up there. And now I realize I'm just gonna have this face the whole time. Any battle scene, just disgust, sadness. Get out of here, kid! Oh man. Grace, get on back! You got it! Now my hands are sweating. How many are gonna be left? just started to like that guy. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's go help the pain. No, don't, don't, don't you do that. Come on. Come on, Smitty, you stay with me. Let's go, we gotta move. Gosh, I'm scared. He's gotta get off the ridge too. What is it you want of me? I don't understand. I can't hear you. All right. He's gonna go back. Right way forward, how many? 32 when they came down, sir. Oh my gosh. And I mean, this part has to be like something that actually happened, and that's crazy that anyone would do this. Harry, he's dead, man. Don't fix you up. You just gotta keep breathing. I'm coming back. Oh my gosh. There's no one down at the bottom. He has to do it. Okay, is he gonna lower him down? Using the knot they learned on the first day of basic. 
just an untold level of bravery. <sighs> Now they don't have any cover. Uh, oh, wait. Take a breath. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Wow, he got so lucky with that angle. Let's go, buddy. Well, where are they? They just walked by. So he successfully got the other guy? Surely they know about that. Okay, yes, they, they know. They're aware of it. And the crazy thing is we know he's not gonna kill anyone, so he can't go one-on-one -on -one against someone unless he doesn't survive this. He's gonna help him. Is he still trying to get people off the ridge? It'll be easier at night. Doesn't help their cover that now there was gunfire. Hey, Ted. It's me, Stan. You ready to get out of here? I sure am. Oh. Help me get one more. Help me get one more. This is like the real life Samwise Gamgee. He's just not gonna stop. Where are the hell are these guys coming from? Some nuts up there dragging wounded from the top. Even lowered a couple of Japs. I love that he's helping all sides of wounded people. A wounded person is a wounded person. You want some morphine? Hell yes. That or a bullet. I can give you morphine. You okay here for a while? I'm coming back. Out there all night. How'd you get down, son? It's us. Toss the coward. Doss the coward. Are they hunkered down taking pot shots or are they still patrolling? You're kidding. I'm gonna drag you. Will that work? Let's go! Okay, I guess it will. Oh no, oh no. Hands sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. You gotta be kidding me, Cornstone. <laughs> Been using this knot all night, sir. I mean, Sarge. Okay, he's alive. He's alive. That's what counts. Now you gotta get down. It's time. Wow, how many people did he save? It's, it's all right. It's all right. All right. Are you wounded? Let's get this soldier to a hospital tent right now. Is this what we saw at the beginning? at the beginning he looked like he was actually wounded. Better get a medal of honor for this. All I saw was a skinny kid. I didn't know who you were. No, I've never been more wrong about someone in my life. I hope one day you can forgive me. We have to go back up tomorrow. 
Now she just has to turn around and do it again. Supposed to begin that assault ten minutes ago. We're waiting, sir. Waiting for what? Private Doss to finish praying for us, sir. Who the hell is Private Doss? How dare you. Gosh, I just wish they didn't have to turn right around and do it again. It's not any easier. Let's go to work. It almost feels like the upper, like, generals and stuff are playing this game where they draw out the Japanese army so they can bomb them with artillery. And every time they lose more men, but it's just trying to have them lose more. And just playing with lives. Okay, this is where we saw. Wow, these guys just respect the hell out of them. Gosh, every time they do the shot where it just shows how much reverence they have for him and gratitude for what he did, it just makes me tear up. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get it, but I'd just love to see a scene with him returning to his wife and they're just happy. Desmond Doss carried 75 wounded men to safety on Hacksaw Ridge. 75. The first CO to receive Medal of Honor. Good. Well. We got to see the real thing. I was just praying, Lord, please help me get one more. When I got this, I said, pray, Lord, please help me get one more. Yeah. I would, he was laying there just groaning, called for medic. I took water from my canteen, got some bandage, and I washed his face. And when I blood, I was washed from his eyes, and eyes came up. Man, he just lit up. So that part was real. Directed by Mel Gibson? I didn't know that. Wow. Hacksaw Ridge. Wow. That was a good movie. It was also a horrible movie. Just spent the whole time just so sad by war in general. All of my thoughts on war itself can be seen in, uh, if you just like look up on YouTube, Doctor Who speech, Zygon Inversion, and just listen to that, it sums up my thoughts. Yeah, a lot of brave people depicted who are real people, I'm just grateful for those who stand up and fight for what's right. Yeah, this movie's gonna stick with me for a while. Feels weird to give it a rating because I feel like the lesson of the movie is more important than grading its entertainment value. Feels weird, but I'm still gonna do it, because that's what I do. Um, just as far as a movie and entertainment value, I'll give it an 8.5. I wouldn't watch it again just because. Uh, if I did watch it again, it would be to remind myself of the lesson it teaches. The horrors of war, the importance of standing up for your beliefs, Bravery can come from the place you expect it or the place you least expect it. It's something on the inside. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I guess all that there's left to say is, bye.